Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. I am taking the afternoon off, kind of. I'm, I'm gonna go film. I'm, what I'm actually gonna do, I'm go around and try and stomp out a pheasant. That's the, that's the master plan here. Uh, going with my good buddy Jared and got a few other guys that are going with us. Hopefully it should be good. Uh, we got some snow rain. It couldn't decide what it wanted to do last night. There's some snow on the ground. If you wanna call it that, there's white stuff, not much. I mean, yeah, not enough to really call it snow, but it is there, so. Uh, but yeah, gonna go out and see if we can get a few birds. This could be afternoon. Ideally, I hunt pheasants in the morning, but that doesn't always work out, uh, especially when it's deer season and people are dropping stuff off, you know, making work for me so I can't do everything I want, but oh well. Enough of me rambling. Let's go meet some dogs and go stomp for some birds. Woo. What's your name? Hey, 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 how are you? Huh? You ready to do the work? Yeah, you're gonna do the work. Hey, pretty girl. Hmm? Okay. They want to get going. Get up there. He says there's something there. Yeah, move on him. Where'd it go? Must have squirted up a little bit. Good sign though. What do you know, bud? What do you know? Is he there? Is he there? She's on something. I'll bump over so we can get more. I'll help hug that line with you. I'm not sure if the dog is more birdie than I am or what. And. Heart going. All right. Hey, that's a good sign. Now we get to find the boyfriend. Whoa, 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 whoa. And <laughs> she's like, nah. <laughs> good job. Oh, no, you're good. People need something to make fun of in the background of the video. <laughs> I'll make sure Can't always be me. <laughs> She's on. She's looking anyway. Hen! Woo! Woo, good dog! This is dumb. It's been so long Scythe hasn't hunted. My heart's already like about ready to explode and I haven't even seen something I can shoot yet. Oh my goodness. I need to do this more often. <laughs> Hen! Hey, he kind of, be ready. He kind of acts funny up here. Okay, back, back, back. Is that four hens? That's four hens. Yeah. Hey, that's four pheasants. I'll take yelling hen over walking in an empty field. Makes me feel like I got a chance. What? So the way he was acting, I was like, I don't think we're done yet. Right well, swing it or walk it out? Boy, that's some thick stuff. I'm bully enough. I'm a wimp. You go around the street. There's the word of wisdom I needed. That and these thorns. He keeps winding something. I think we're gonna do like we did last. Everything run up about 40 yards from the end. Hey, I'm fine with that. Well, kicked four hens and one rooster up on that field. I was too busy talking with everybody that I wasn't paying attention. Didn't get that rooster on film at all. And unfortunately, the guy on the end that the rooster kicked up in front of, which he was, I mean, he was probably picked up at about 30 yards. When he pulled up, he aimed at him, click. Everyone knows the dreaded click. So anyway, hopefully the next spot will do better. Uh, the next spot is my little spot that I solo hunt all the time. But with a couple of dogs and a few more people, hopefully we'll do okay. So let's go give it a try. There 
there he is. Woo! That's a pretty bird right there. Mmm. Love him. That was worth a walk. I'll show you him here in a little bit. Well, uh, we're done pheasant and quail hunting, so we might as well just go try and shoot some starlings, right? You know, day's not over yet. So, let's see what we can do. Got him. Well done. That's your first starling, yeah? First starling. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this bird. Aren't they pretty? Now, these are a pest bird here. Uh, they're super invasive. Actually, why they call them an invasive species? Because, well, it started out with like 60 pairs, I believe, in New York, if I remember right. Now they are literally millions and millions and millions and millions of them. So they outcompete our native birds and they also poop in the cow's feed, which is why we're here. But yep, there we go. Well, so far, missing clips pretty much ruined that video. I was really, really disappointed. I was editing the video last night and yeah. Oh well, you know. So what we're gonna do now, I'm headed over to check traps. I just feel like I got something. It's probably another skunk, but you know, I just feel like I caught something again. And I got my first trail camera in. So I gotta stick that out too. So that's the plan right now. Uh, yeah, this video is not going anything like I thought it would. I'm sure that's pretty short, but you know, that's the way it is. Super busy time of year for me, so I gotta work with what I can. But I wanna tell you guys real quick, as far as upcoming videos, I do have a hunt where Banjo or Austin Bonzel or whatever you wanna call him, Bonz Daddy, he came down along with Mindac Outdoors and they are gonna be in a hunt coming up soon. So that's a fun one. Uh, what else do I got? I got another good day on the trap line that I was gonna put up, but I wanted to get this video up first and things aren't going according to plan. Hopefully today goes well and then trapping videos after this. Hopefully I have a little bit of trail cam footage to see what all is going through the area. Hopping over the hill, do we have anything? Uh -huh. Nothing dancing. Oh well. Just felt like it. But can't win them all. Oh, I'm headed down here and I see eyes. Well, what is it? It's another raccoon. Hey, buddy. You look a little stuck. All right. Well, let's get him out of here. I'd say that tree right there looks like a good place. i put my new trail cam. Yeah, I just got a cheap one off of Amazon. Got a couple of them. Go see what I think of them. Can't always get the ones you want right away. So hopefully I'll be able to do well with these and maybe I'll like them enough that I'll have to get more. If not, then I'll have to actually bite the bullet and spend a lot more money than what I want to do. But hopefully it'll be fun. All right, there's the remake. Same thing pretty much as we've always done. Got the trail cam set up here. I think, I hope I got it set low enough. I think I do. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead, open this guy up. We're gonna turn it on. Yep. All right, there we go. Hopefully we'll get some cool footage off of that. All right, uh, I'm gonna grab Mr. Raccoon here, run up to the truck. I gotta be at work. Um, but I'm gonna check the uh, the rest of the line over lunch. Well, lunchtime walk-in. Hopefully there's no lunch stuck in my beard. No. If there is, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't see anything bouncing around, but who knows, still gotta go see if anything was set off. Uh, I didn't film, I didn't film it the other morning, but I caught a big pack rat, actually. It was like 10, 11 inches long. But I was late that day too and did not have the time to film it. So sorry about that, guys. Maybe I'll have another one. Who knows? It'd be kind of weird. Anyway, I'll show you guys the sets here in a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to jump to conclusions, but that looks like someone stuck a stick in my trap. That's what happened. I am not fond 
Uh, well, let's go see. If the other one has the same scenario, then I got problems I gotta deal with. Uh, there had been, the reason I jumped to that conclusion is by this trap here, let me show you, which is not set off, which is odd. Um, looks like there was a raccoon dancing all over the set, but didn't do anything. But here, someone had scratched, I'm assuming a name or something. I can't tell what was written there. I don't know what it is, but someone scratched some stuff into it. So in an attempt for them to get a hold of me, what I did was, is this little stick over here. I had gone and I tied, ooh, they saw it. I put one of my trap tags on it. Looks like they bent it in half. So they come over and looked at it. I don't know what the deal is. I'll probably have to call the landowner and say, hey, here's what's going on. Can you help me out? Anyway, let me go ahead and I'm gonna relure everything, reset that one. I got one more set of traps to set. Blech. Sorry, I've got one more set of traps to check, uh, but I will see you at that one. Well, here's my badger set. That is not a badger. That's not even close to a badger. That is a pretty good size. Is it a boar? It is a boar. Ooh. Might not be too bad after all. I've been waiting for a big silver one like this. And uh, he just might do. Just might do. Anyway, I gotta get him out of the trap. We'll look at him then. Hmm. Still no action. It's kind of weird because normally, I mean, the last two places that we just checked, normally I've caught a handful of coyotes by now. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Hard to tell. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna relure these. We're gonna look at that possum and I gotta get back to work. So I'll talk to you in a little bit. That's a good sized possum, you know? Normally I'm pretty bummed at catching these guys, but uh, yeah. I just might have my silver to tan. We'll see what he looks like when I uh, get him into the, you know, get him on a board and everything. Or when Jeff gets him on a board. I gotta drop off some stuff for him. Hi, Jeff. Uh, but yeah, worst things that happened. Well, let's see. Eh, I mean, he's got a little bit of fight marks and stuff like that. But yeah, just a big old ugly possum. But I bet once he's skinned and tanned, he'll look pretty nice. Now all I gotta do is catch a cinnamon. Anyway. Uh, yeah, sorry it wasn't more action-packed video. It did not go anything like I thought it would. But, you know, that's just kind of the way it goes sometimes. You know what? I'm going to show you guys. So, when Mindac Outdoors came... I'm sorry, I'm bunny trailing here a little bit. When Mindac came down, uh, Sam... Sam came down and he has a shotgun that is very different. It is an AR platform 12 gauge. And he was messing around with it. And I was like, that's kind of nice. That'd be kind of fun. You know, that could be different. I don't have anything like that yet. And one of my buddies owns a gun shop and happened to have one in there the very next day. So uh, we did a shoot with it. Let me show you. Yeah, that's all you're gonna see. It is a lot of fun. It is really hard to shoot. I have a lot of getting used to to make that thing work. But uh, yeah, we did a pigeon hunt. It's coming up. I don't know if it's next video or the video after, but uh, here in a couple of videos, there will be that. And we'll introduce you to that gun because that one's fun. But back to trapping. Hopefully here in the near future, we'll have some cool trail cam videos to put in with, uh, with the catches. Uh, I mean, maybe even just the misses, you know? There could be all sorts of stuff that I wish I wouldn't have known was there. But I got another trail cam coming. If I like these, then I'm gonna get a handful more. If I don't like them, then I gotta you know, spend the money, get a little bit more expensive ones. So anyway, hey, I appreciate you guys watching this video. It really means a lot. Uh, yeah, if you guys did like it, which I mean, I'm kind of bummed because not a lot happened, but hopefully, I mean, if you guys wanna help me out, hit that like button for me. Uh, if you guys enjoy the channel, uh, you guys could subscribe. That would help me out as well. But either way, uh, we'll see you on the next one.